What's going on guys? It's Madman Plant. I'm at MJ BizCon and I got the owner and founder of Canatrol with me. Welcome. Thank you. Good Thank to be here. You. Yeah, no, it's great to have you guys. You guys are definitely a company I've been following for a while. So tell me about Canatrol. What is Canatrol? So we're revolutionizing the whole dry cure end of uh, post-harvest of the cannabis flower. You know, up until now, people have been drying, then curing. And when they finish drying, if you didn't pull it to the curing space at the right time, you can either over-dry the product, it's inferior, or if you pull it too soon, it can go moldy. And then you got to burp jars. And burping jars isn't very scientific, depending on whether you're burping in the summer in Florida or in the winter in New England. It's all these variables. So what we did is we took a whole new approach to it, and now you put the flower in one of our units, close the door, hit start, eight days later, you have amazing smokable flower. What we're doing is controlling the vapor pressure in the space. Okay. So the free water in the flower yeah. leaves, equalizes with the space, and now you're curing. Think of us sort of like the sous vide of cooking instead <laughs> of cooking in an oven. Okay, very Where cool. in an oven you can overcook or undercook. Here, with sous vide, it cooks perfectly and holds. We're doing the same thing with flour. We've had flour in a box like this for up to two years, and people are amazed. It comes out sticky and supple. It smokes amazing. Very cool. Now, so as the founder and creator of this product, what were some of the things that you made sure to cover? Like, why for you is the terpene flavor and the drying process so important? Well, is if you retain the terpenes, you know, think about wine, where someone can go and buy a $5 bottle of wine or a $50 bottle of wine. If you chug them both down, you're going to get just as drunk and just as sick. <laughs> so why would you spend $50 on a bottle of wine? because it's the flavor, it's the taste, it's the experience. And with cannabis flower, it's all about the terpenes. So if you can retain those terpenes, you can really take the cannabis market to the craft space, you know, like beer. You know, there's the low-end beer, mass-produced, and now there's craft beer. Well, same thing, we're giving the tools to have high-end craft cannabis, where people are amazed at the terpenes, the taste, the smoke, the flavor, a whole new experience. Yeah, and I think you hit it right on the head with the craft um, cannabis is because there is a difference. When I first started smoking cannabis, I was like, weed's weed, right? And after a while, when you smoke really good stuff, and I'm sure when like when you smoke something out of this baby, you're going to notice the difference right away. It would probably be nine days. Would you say that this is like a fail-safe option for like a beginner to an experienced person? Absolutely. You know, we hear so many people, they're starting to grow as a hobby, and they're nervous about their nutrients and water, but then they wind up growing an amazing plant. Yeah. And then all bets are off. How they dry, how they cure it, they can just destroy it. And we've seen so many magnificent plants just destroyed during the dry cure. Here, you grow an amazing plant, you put it in the unit, eight days later, you got awesome smokable flour. But we like recommending leaving it in there for a month, two months. What we like to do is take the flour after it's dry, put it in brown paper sandwich bags, right on the bag with the Sharpie, what the cultivar is and the harvest date. And then you wind up in the unit, a library. So you open the door and say, hey, what do we feel like smoking today? Jilly bean, Acapulco gold, and they're all in little bags. You pull out a little, little piece of flour and grind it. We treat those bags like ice cream. You don't want to leave that ice cream out on the table. It's going to melt. Yeah. You don't want to leave your flour out because it's going to dry out just leaving it out of the box. But you leave it in there, take out just what you want to smoke that day, and it's amazing. I can see it all over your face. So I can tell you're not lying to me. You can just, it's like gleaming off. You've, you've had some really good cures with this Oh, thing. amazing. But the best part is, you know, all the followers on social media that day in and day out sing the praises of how amazing that flower is turning out. Well, dude, that is awesome. And I really appreciate you, David, being here with me, explain to it. Now, the final question is, in 2023, can we expect any new exciting things coming out of Cantrell? Is there anything in the works, possibly? We have a couple of things going on, but I can't reveal okay. them at this hey, point. Fair so enough, fair enough. Stay tuned. Perfect. Well, guys, you heard it right here. MJ BizCon. I'm with David, the founder and CEO of Cannotrol. If you guys haven't checked them out, make sure you guys do. And we'll see you guys next time here at Madman Plan. Bye, guys. Thank you, David. Thank you so much.